Welcome LEGO enthusiasts to Heart of Kid Productions. Today we're kind of jumping off the LEGO bandwagon because I ended up picking up an ultimate edition of uh, something that I've been waiting for and I got really lucky. So let's get right into it. So as you guys can see, I ended up going all out and I got the OLED Nintendo Switch, um, the Tears of the Kingdom edition. Um, I already had a Nintendo Switch when it first came out, which was the Mario edition. And I'm a huge Zelda fan, been a huge Zelda fan for a long time. And I wanted this, so I pre-ordered this through Best Buy. I got this a couple weeks ago. Still haven't opened. I've been extremely busy. I was going to, thought I was going to have some time tonight, but I just got called into work. So not going to be able to do that. But you know what? Yeah, you make the money so you can buy the toys that you want, you know. And then, obviously, I ended up getting the uh, controller. Now... I wasn't able to order this through Best Buy, but I ended up uh, knowing some people, you know, networking, coordinating with people that I know, and come to find out uh, GameStop near me ended up having a couple that ended up getting shipped to them, and I think they only had three, so it was like first come, first serve, and I was lucky enough to get the second one, so luckily I got that, except for they got a bunch of collector's editions, which as you can see right here, I got the collector's edition as well, but the GameStop that I went to did not have, well, it was first come first serve also, but I got the controller and then um, I guess people were allowed to pre-order the collector's edition like early when the store opened, even though they weren't giving them out till uh, that midnight release. So for me, I was like thinking, oh, I'm going to get there right after I get off work, be there a couple hours early, and then I'll say, hey, I'm here, and I want to get the collector's edition. And when I showed up, they were like, oh, we started, the, you know, we only got about, I think like it was 20 or so, and they were like, we already got, you know, 20 people came in this morning and found out we had them because we let them know, because obviously, you know, people come in, they got to let them know, and they were like, so those went like super quick, but so by the time I got out of work, I didn't even know about it and I was or I knew about the collectors that I just did not know that you would have to go to the store as soon as they opened to pre-order it that day the problem was that I wouldn't have been able to do that anyway because I was at work all day so uh, what I ended up doing since I obviously was first to pre-order the controller which was great because I guess nobody pre-ordered that so I was like second in line for that which was great and they only had three um, but I was like, well, I got to come back for the controller at 10 because they couldn't hand those out early. So what I did was I ended up going to another GameStop down the road because I had to do some other uh, life activities for my family. And then I was like, oh, there's a GameStop over here. So while I was out, I actually went to that GameStop and just by luck, I went in and I was like, hey, are you guys doing pre-orders for the collector's edition? And they were like, oh, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, do you have any left? Because... Obviously, it was like 6.30, almost 7 o'clock. And they're like, yeah, actually, we, we have a lot. So at this one GameStop, they had a ton, I guess, which was great. Well, maybe not a ton, but more than what was getting sold out at the other store. So I went and I went paid right out the bat. I'm like, all right, I'm going to pay for this. They're like, okay, just come back tonight, midnight release. And I was like, okay, well, I got to go to another GameStop to pick up my controller and I'll be back for this. So, and of course, there was a huge storm out where I live. So uh, I got my controller, got in the car, went to the other GameStop, and there was a huge line. Probably, I think both GameStops I went through had like 100 people. But obviously, I was at one waiting for for uh, the controller first, given it was uh, kind of out of my way. So I went to that one first, got the controller, then drove to the other place, parked about 100 people in that store. And we were outside in the rain waiting to get our item, which was crazy. I was just like, man, this is, I'm like, all right, this is what we got to do. We got to sacrifice to get what we want. So I ended up waiting in the line. I was literally probably like the third to last person in this hundred person line, which was crazy. Um, so I was like, I already paid for it. I hope they didn't oversell it on accident, um, but I paid for it. I got to the front of the line and they were like, here's your... Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Collector's Edition. Now, given I was so far back in the line, I did not get the wooden plaque that came with it or the Amiibo or the uh, arm sleeve that you get for free. Now, the Amiibo you had to pay for, which 
I think they had maybe one or two, but I didn't end up getting that. Didn't really care for it. Um, but the uh, arm sleeve that you would have got for free and the wood plaque would have been nice to have as an item, given, you know, I reserved this stuff kind of at the last minute when I found out I was able to. But at the same time, it would have been awesome. But I didn't get that. So life got in the way and that's okay. But yeah, I ended up getting this. And obviously, I'll go ahead and turn this around so you guys can see it. But yeah, the box is really cool. And it's brand new. It's still not opened, which is crazy. Like sealed, as you can see right here at the top. And I just literally have not had a chance to, to even open. And given I was like, well, I'm just going to open all this stuff together when I put my switch in my position because I pulled my other one upstairs to my living room. And I was like, I'll just kick, connect this one down downstairs. So I was like, all right, back where it, the original spot was because this is the newer edition. I want it in a safe space in my man cave where I don't have to worry about my kids destroying it on accident or causing problems or you know pulling a wire or something that just happens to be sticking out because obviously when you connect things to other things that are already done and hooked up, sometimes wires stick out. At least this one, once it's uh, hooked up down in my man cave, it'll be, the wires won't be, you know, you won't be able to trip over or anything like that because they're in the front and my kids shouldn't be running over there, but I got kids, I got a four year old, you know. But anyways, um, really happy that I was able to get these, um, especially this one. And I still think you can actually pre-order through Best Buy the uh, Zelda Link uh, or Tears of the Kingdom uh, edition, which is crazy because I was like, oh man, that's going to be selling out. So I was so glad that I was able to get that. And then just to be able to get the controller and the actual Tears of the Kingdom game collector's edition, which I wanted. I missed out on the Metroid Prime, or not Metroid Prime, Metroid Dread, uh, when that came out a while ago. That was my fault, I should have pre-ordered it, but I didn't realize, and I made a bad decision, and I didn't get the ultimate collector's edition there. But I got this, this is really great. Like I said, I missed out on the plaque, but that's okay. Um, other than that, I just wanted to talk about, and you know, it was funny because there was literally a hundred people in both of these stores and there was probably three kids with their parents that were in the store. So, you know, we all grew up in this generation. So we're a bunch of kids. And I was like, look, look, at there's three kids in here. And then there's the rest of us grown up kids, you know? So that was kind of funny because we're just, we grew up in the era. We're gamers. We grew up, grew up gamers. And, you know, we haven't had a midnight release since before COVID. So it's like crazy to even see that many people in both of the game stops I went to. So it was it was awesome at the same time to talk to, with people, but also kind of like, oh, so anxious to get this and, and get home and play it. And I know everybody I know who's got it went home and played it and they're like, oh, it's awesome. And I'm over here. It's already, I think we're, we're to, today's the 16th of May and I still haven't even opened mine just because, you know, when you have wife, kids, life, work, uh, priorities is to do what you need to do and you know i needed sleep i needed to focus to be able to do my job and do everything so sometimes things that you love and enjoy have to take the back burner just a little bit and i mean i have them so it's not like i'm not going to get to enjoy them i'm going to get to enjoy them i'm also playing the harry potter legacy on my playstation 5 which i still haven't finished because i've been busy with life but i'm still like 80 percent in and i feel like i still haven't even scratched the surface of that game so so many amazing games i want to finish that one i do want to set this up and start it and just see the intro and kind of finish Harry Potter, but who knows if I'll get like sucked into this and I'm like, all right, well, Harry Potter, take a back burner. We'll, we'll see what happens, you know, but I really want to finish Harry Potter because I'm so far into it. It's so amazing, but I do want to get into this game too and really enjoy it and see it. Um, so when I finally get some time, you know, I, I know there's a lot of people that just love Zelda and are loving this game. So, um, you know, I can't wait to enjoy it myself. And like I always say, you know, as long as you have the heart of kid, you can enjoy everything and everything. And obviously I'm a Lego guy. I enjoy my video games. I enjoy my, my hobbies, my collectibles and a bunch of things. And let me sh show you guys one thing I did pick up uh, while I was actually in line. I, I came back the next day because I was like, I'm a gamer. And this was sitting on display it was a little pricey and it's not like metal or anything or um it's pvc but it's actually really sturdy and the detail is amazing um yeah i just went and picked it up the next day after i saw it because it was raining and i was like i'm gonna come back the next day and look for this and see if it's still there and it was and i was like it's a perfect addition to my man cave and obviously you can see i got the blue shells over there and green shell and a mario hat and stuff like that but anyways yeah, just wanted to point that out. And as you can see, I got a bunch of Legos on the floor, stuff that I haven't even, you know, 
uh, talked about my holes or my reviews or different things because I've been so busy with life and they're just piling up with all the stuff that I've bought. And, um, so I don't know if it's going to just be like, let me just talk about all these Legos that I've got that have been sitting here for a month or so that I haven't even had a chance to talk about. But this was kind of the highlight right now. I wanted to kind of talk about this, showcase this, show it off and uh, say, you know, I'm just glad to be one of the people that was able to get this. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or, you know, um, comments or what do you think? Did you guys get it? Are you loving the game? You know, no spoilers because obviously I haven't played it yet and I'm kind of staying off watching some videos here and there of just tips and things like that without spoilers um, just so I can jump into the game and, you know, experience it without having knowing anything and really, really getting into it and be like, this is amazing. But anyways, guys, yeah, enjoy what you do. Enjoy your hobbies. Enjoy your life. You know, take advantage of what you want and, you know, just enjoy those moments when you're able to get into the things that you want to enjoy. Anyways, guys, I got to go. Um, it was nice talking to you guys. Uh, hopefully be posting more videos here in the near future when I have a chance. But um, yeah, I'm just so happy I got this collection. So I'll talk to you all later. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.